Hi friends, we're making silkworm cassava cake, a favorite dessert with the youngsters. In case you're wondering, there are no silkworms in this recipe. The cake gets its name from its thick strands, which resemble silkworms. Now that we have worms in mind, we're going to take this classic treat and make something fun for Halloween. Check out this spooky, scary worm's dirt and slime. I'll share this recipe later in the video. For this recipe, we need grated cassava, sugar, tapioca starch, vanilla sugar, salt, coconut milk, shredded coconut, and food coloring. For the sesame seed topping, we need sugar, salt, and roasted sesame seeds. This recipe is super easy. We just need to combine everything in a large bowl. Let's start with the grated cassava. It was previously frozen and is now thawed. Now let's add sugar, vanilla sugar, just a little bit of salt, tapioca starch, and coconut milk. Let's mix everything together and combine all the ingredients well. We should have a nice smooth batter that looks like this. So that we can mix different colors, let's scoop out three quarters of a cup of the batter and place them in separate bowls. Let's add the classic colors, green, pink, and yellow, and we'll leave the last white. If using gel food coloring like what I have here, we need to make sure we mix it really well. Keep in mind the colors brighten after the cakes are steamed, so we don't want to add too much food coloring. To steam the cakes, we're just going to use this simple salad plate. It's the perfect size for the amount of batter that we have. Let's pour the batter onto the plate and spread it out so it's in a nice even layer. Let's also smooth out the top of the cake. Once we're finished, we'll have four cakes ready to be steamed. We prepare the steamer by filling it with a generous amount of water and bringing it to a boil. Place the first cake into the steamer tray. We cover and steam for five to six minutes, depending on the thickness of the cake. The cake is done when it becomes translucent. Let's gently remove the lid so the water doesn't drip onto the cake. Now we can remove the cake and then steam the next one. We keep going until all the cakes are steamed. Let the cakes cool for 15 minutes. If we remove them while they're warm, they'll be really sticky. Add the shredded coconut into a large bowl. Once the cakes are cooled, we can remove from the plate. Use a small knife to peel up the edge. Once we have enough cake to hold on to, it should lift right up. Next, let's cut the cake in half. And then we cut into thin strips, a little less than half an inch thick. Take a few pieces at a time, drop them into the bowl, and then coat them with a generous amount of the shredded coconut. We repeat the same process with the remaining cakes. To make the topping, we simply combine the roasted sesame seeds with sugar and a little bit of salt. Before serving, sprinkle the cakes with a sesame topping. Our delicious silkworm cassava cake is ready to be enjoyed. The cake is not too sweet, slightly chewy, and fun finger food. With Halloween coming up, we can do something fun with this recipe. Instead of the classic colors, let's mix something more festive. For this batch, we'll use orange and bright green food coloring. And then we mix red and blue to make purple. The remaining steps for making the cake are the same. Here's how to make this fun and ghoulish dessert, worms, dirt, and slime. To make the slime, we combine rice pudding with pandan paste. We make the dirt by crushing chocolate cookies. And then we top with our worms for a delicious and spooky looking treat. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.